Okay, it's time to go. Mike came to get me. It was a nice week, almost a week here. A little less than a week. But you're happy to go back to uh, Chernay. Say goodbye to my friend Nicolas. He was good here. Thank you, Shuv. Did a great job. After five days, I was allowed to go home. Pretty rapid. And on the way home, Mike had to show me something or someone. So, yes. On the way from the hospital, Mike can't uh, help himself to give me another tour. He's bringing me to the cemetery to see my grandmother's and my grandfather's grave. I can't believe this. I've never been to my grandfather's grave. Marcel Desauges. Oh, he lived to be an old man, all right? 1905, 1996. He's a randy dude. My grandfather, he was cool. T'as vu toutes les jolies filles avec qui je sors maintenant? Très fier, hein? And this is one of our other famous Swiss men's graves, the General Henry Guizon. Who was Henri Guizon, Mika? C'était le grand général lors de la dernière guerre. Il était, c'était comme le président, quoi, le président de la Confédération. Oh yeah, he was kind of like General de Gaulle or something like or, or Eisenhower on Swiss terms. So here's his grave. Mickey did not know much about General Guizon, except where his grave was. Back at their apartment, I forged on with the episodes. Gotta keep you all happy. And me as well, to be honest. It's cool to see what had happened in the near past. My parents had fixed me up a nice comfy room for me. My brother lent me a screen and with my Mac Mini, I can get down to work. It's actually pretty darn amazing to have a portable editing studio and this weather was perfect to be editing inside. Pretty friggin' amazing how well I'm walking already. I'm going for a walk with Mike, down to the grocery store, trying to do that every day. It's really weird because I have to re-educate my, uh, my leg. Like just walking up and down the stairs and walking up and down the hills. It feels strange. Get this big giant bruise on my leg. <laughs> so I'm trying to re educate myself into walking normal, but it's gonna take some time. Meanwhile, it's freaking cold here. Look at this, it's gray. I miss my Cape Verdean sunshine. <laughs> uh, but it's not bad. So here we go. Got a few things. Really important thing to do. I have to walk down here for every time I want one. Which is chocolate. After a week, I went into the hospital to check the wound and change the bandage. It all looked good according to the staff, but I still got to live with them staples for a week. Back at the house, I was quickly falling into Swiss life, which means tons of mail. Like this 10-year-old bill for legal insurance. Believe me, Switzerland ticks like clockwork. I even got the recent voting material, three issues at stake. Government gives you an information booklet to read with both sides of the issues explained, as well as recommendations. It was quite a responsibility for me. The issues were, number one, for a stronger health worker force. Number two, lottery selection of federal judges. And number three, stricter laws to control COVID spread and to compensate financial losses. I felt I was not informed enough to vote, so I regrettably did not perform my duty. Bad Swiss. I did have to self-medicate myself, one of these syringes per day to prevent blood clots, Blech. as well as paracetamol. And these pain pills who work really well, you get a real nice 48 hour high, so I'm keeping some of these for future recreational purposes. I went out with Mike to the grocery store. And man, I'm shocked by the amount of food and goods you got here. I mean, I mean, look at this. This is just at the entrance. Chanterelle mushrooms, yum. None of this grows around here now. Strawberries and raspberries, blueberries from Peru, every kind of apple, bananas from Africa or South America, pomegranate, manioc, avocados, pineapples and mangoes. Mangoes in December, really? And all these bread goodies. Oh, I love this stuff. And 
the endless selections of cheese. Oh my goodness, are you spoiled. And then there's the meat. My lord, my son is vegan, and here I can understand why. And I'm a meat eater. And then the sweets. I've already put on three kilos. This abundance is fantastic, but it's also absurd. Later, Mike brought me here. The uh, recycling center. It is impressive, man, under the highway here. You can recycle everything. Man, there's so much stuff here people would love in Cape Verde. You know, that they just throw away. Anyways, and I met a friend of mine here who's a sailor, and he invited me to uh, dinner next week. Pretty well organized facility, if I may say so. I also had a few sessions scheduled with a physiotherapist. She also happened to be Portuguese. I was pretty bruised up from the surgery, so she rubbed my injury and had me do basic exercises. I needed to bring back a few little gifts for my friends back south. So while waiting for my parents, I went to see another friend of mine who has the coolest Swiss gift shop. Why Queen? Well, there's a long history here with the group in rock and roll. Look up Montreux Music. My son lives in the area with his wife and daughter. He asked if I could babysit. So I'm staying at my son's house, Miles. He asked me to come and take care of my little granddaughter. Uh, you know, I had pizza yesterday and uh, my son lives in the center of Vevey, which is really cool. So I'm staying here for a couple days and then uh, I'll go back up with the parents. But I'm going to this awesome bakery here. And uh, it's just nice, but man, is it cold. So it's been a week, a little more than a week after my uh, surgery, and it's pretty awesome. I'm not walking with no cane and uh, slight limp. Here I'm at the Christmas market in Vevey. It's not open yet, obviously, there's no one here, but this place looks really cute. Mm, it smells like fresh cut wood and everything. Yeah. Well, quite a contrast from when Peter and Lily were here. It was super sunny and uh, still kind of warm Indian summer. Now it's freezing, man. But it's nice to walk around, man. It's just so nice to be able to walk and enjoy the being outside and just walking, man. So I'm gonna show you just one thing here. I'm gonna go back to my son's apartment and continue working on the other episode and stay warm. Charlie Chaplin lived here for many years. He had a mansion above the city, which is now a world-class museum. This sculpture was made for the 10 year anniversary of the Nestle Food Museum. It was so popular, it became a permanent landmark. And this is Nestle's Food Museum. Why is there a Nestle Food Museum here? Because Nestle World Headquarters are here. The irony of the current exhibit was spot on. Like I said before, my son and his family are vegan. I absolutely love this poster. The best of Swiss design. Jeez, sex and son, I like it. Well, there ain't no cheese right now, no sun, and no sex, that's for sure. This is where I got my divorce hearings and stuff. Happy place. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, happy. Freedom. It looks cold out there. Oh, this is my son's apartment. Uh, he's off at school. His wife Tessa is working and Eloise, my little granddaughter, is at school. So this is where I set up my little workstation for now. I got a good company with Sully here. Huh, Sully? Come and say hi. One of my favorite things to eat here are these like little cheese pies called Salé au fromage. Salty cheese things. Can warm them up. They're really salty and cheesy. Egg, 
perfect for a cold freezing day like today. So I can continue working on some video and deliver, right? I think I might warm this up. I completely respect my son's choice, but I have to say that he too is blessed with lots of stuff and gadgets. Social media can really be social. I made a new real friend here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Danielle. He is a Patreon. He's been following me around. And look, he took me out to, to lunch here at my friend's Le Poisson Rouge. And uh, we had just had a great time. And he's a sailor too. And uh, I don't know. I would say, say that Alex is a real kind guy that <laughs> if you can meet him in person, he's really worth it. <laughs> so he came all the way from fucking Geneva, man, <laughs> to meet me here. Far. Yeah, it's far enough. <laughs> you know, it's cold and everything. I'm going to walk with him to the train station and stuff, but it's really cool, man. YouTube is all right. Social media is all right when you actually meet the real people, you know. And Danielle's a real person. He even brought me a present. Check this out. <laughs> but you'll see it. I'm gonna save this till we get back to the girls in Cape Verde. <laughs> They're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, they love chocolate. Thanks, Daniel, for a slightly drunken lunch, your patronage, and your generous contributions to get me here. Hope to see you out there on the ocean soon. great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapan promise you a good time every Wednesday, so welcome aboard. Elle va redire une vieille dame, elle aussi. Ouais, elle est un peu chenave. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Elle peut bien crâner. Toutes ces bonnes femmes. Elle a mon âge. Elle a mon âge. Elle a 9 ans moins que toi. Elle peut pas crâner. Elle a l'air plus vieille que toi. Oh, on parle pas de... J'ai pas dit du vis. Oh, le visage, une sale gueule aujourd'hui. Ah, heureusement qu'on a des masques. Je peux pas maquiller des mais c'est ce qui me plaît.